For those of you who have seen the show Unprisoned, the main character bought a house without any contingencies. And now, when I heard that, I, I looked up at my girlfriend and I, and I got upset because you should never buy a house, especially as a first time home buyer, without having your contingencies, which are the, the loan, the appraisal, as well as the home inspection. Now, what that means and why I was so upset even though it was a TV show and it really didn't matter, is because when if people want to buy a house and are serious about it, they might say, oh, if she got her offer accepted like that, maybe so will I. So this video is basically to tell you about the seriousness of buying a house and the danger really with no contingency. So what exactly does that mean? Basically, it means that there's no way no matter what the what the home inspector finds, what the appraisal says, you're buying that house or you're going to be losing that money. That EMD, which is either the one, two, three percent, whatever your agent writes, you're going to lose it. I also thought like, aha, this is never going to happen, but it actually did. A realtor got a call, someone from my team saying that she's about to close in a week. Her agent wrote an offer with no contingencies. He didn't explain what it was to her. And now she's having regrets. She doesn't want to buy the house because it's in a bad area. And she wants to know what she could do. So there's two things that can happen here. One, she cannot sign the papers. Therefore, um, she, she's not backing out. Well, I guess it is like a back out. She's not going to sign the signing papers and the homeowners could take her to court and take that that three percent that she put down which is about like thirty thousand dollars i don't have the exact number it's it's about thirty thousand dollars right so she could lose it and then she doesn't have to buy the house the homeowners are happy they get thirty thousand dollars for their trouble but she's thirty thousand dollars in the hole minus she's thirty thousand dollars she just she just threw it away should have gave it to me um, so what's another thing that could happen? Well, they could take her to court and make her buy that house, or she could just buy the house and bite the bullet because at the end of the day, she should have read what, what her agent is sending her to sign. You can't just trust anyone, right? So we advise her. Those are the options. The funny thing is we actually met her at an open house. She had met an agent, I think like a day before, she she liked us, but she had already promised that other agent she was gonna work with him. And we said, hey, I understand that, but you should look out to whoever's gonna give you the best for you and your family, in a sense where we have high quality service and we're gonna make sure you have the best loan and we're even gonna give you 20% in closing costs from our commission. That's just something that we typically offer at open houses um, and she still said no. We had we had messaged her and called her, I, I think, once a week after that just to follow up to see how everything was going. Eventually, she told my business partner, hey, don't talk to me. I'm not interested. Stop texting me. Or, Stop texting me homes. So now she calls us and says this. So this is kind of a cautionary tale of why you need to explore your options and not just trust any realtor. Don't trust me, do your research. Um, make sure everything I'm telling you to sign, I'm telling you what it is. And usually, I, not usually, all the time, 100% of the time, I say, hey, this is what this means. So if you're buying a house in California, make sure your agent tells you what you're signing or anywhere else in the country, in the state, other cities, or even other countries. Just make sure you know what you're signing. My final thoughts, I kind of blame the agent. I'm disgusted, truthfully, because as a realtor, as a business owner, I, I strive so hard to be the best that I possibly can be in a sense of explaining the contract, saying like, hey, um, giving my guidance. So to know that other realtors are doing things like this, kind of disgust me and I'm kind of happy about the new laws 
about all the changes to all the bad agents to get out the business. In this case, this is a newer agent. He must have just been misguided. Must have just could have been even commissioned. Had that commission breath. So just make sure you you pick an agent that is honest and truthful to you. If you like this video, make sure you send this to someone that's thinking about buying or is in the process and dealing with a shady individual. And we give free consultations. You can message us below and we'll schedule a phone call whenever we are both available. So thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next one.